In this video, we're going to do some quick worked examples of questions on the rules of indices and in particular negative powers. Let's start off with 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 is 16. I'm going to subtract a power, that will give me 2 to the power 3. 2 to the power 3 is 8. Subtracting another power, 2 to the power 2, that's going to give me 4. If I subtract another power, we've got 2 to the power 1, which is going to give us 2. If we look now at the left hand side, we're subtracting 1 from the power each time. If we look at the right hand side, the answer is dividing by 2 each time. So we can see that it's dividing by this number here. So if we had 5 to the power 4, 5 to the power 3, 5 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 1, we would divide each of these by 5. Let's take this a step further and subtract another power. This is going to give me 2 to the power of 0. I need to divide this by 2. Now 2 divided by 2 is 1, and this gives us a special result. Any number other than 0 raised to the power of 0 gives us 1. So 3 to the power of 0 is 1, 5 to the power of 0 is 1, a million to the power of 0 is 1. Let's take this a step further and subtract another power. That's going to be 2 to the power of minus 1. Now we divided this side by 2, so I need to do that again, and I could write this as 1 over 2. Or, if we like, we could write this as 1 over 2 to the power of positive 1. Let's subtract another power. So, if I'm subtracting a power, I need to divide by 2. And that will be 1 over 4. 1 half divided by 2 is going to give me 1 over 4. Or, if you like, 1 over 2 squared. If we did 2 to the minus 3, we would get 1 over 8. I'm dividing that by 2. Or, we could write 1 over 2 to the power of positive 3. Now, if we continue this right up to 2 to the power of minus m, we would end up now with the result of 1 over 2 to the power of positive m. We can see that that's the case. So our general result is if we have a raised to the power of minus m, this gives us 1 over a to the positive m. And that's the result that we're going to use to answer a range of questions. So a to the minus m is 1 over a to the positive m. So let's look at 6 to the power of minus 1. This is 1 over 6 to the power of 1, which of course is going to give me 1 over 6. Let's look at 6 to the power of minus 2. This is going to be 1 over 6 to the power of positive 2, which is going to give me 1 over 36. Let's look at 5 to the power of minus 3. This is going to give me 1 over 5 to the power of 3, or 1 over 5 cubed. 5 cubed is 125, so we have 1 over 125. Let's say we had now, t uh, let's go for x to the minus 2. This is going to be 1 over x to the positive 2, or 1 over x squared. If we had now 3 x to the minus 2, we are only raising the x to the minus 2. So we'd have 3 over x to the positive 2. If we have, for example, now 4x and we have this to the power of minus 2, this would give us 1 over 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2. So with this particular one, as it's in brackets, we need now 4 to the power of minus 2, which is going to give us 1 over 4 squared, and then we're going to have x squared. We could write this as 1 over 16x squared. This would differ to 4x to the minus 2. This would give us 4 lots of 1 over x squared. So there is a difference between the two. For this particular standard, you will be expected to carry out basic calculations with numeric examples. This is a bit of extension work. So if we look at a couple more, let's do a couple more. We might be asked now to find 3 to the power of minus 3. Well, this is going to be 1 over 3 cubed. 3 to the power of 3 is 27, so we have 1 over 27. So all we're doing now is looking at a negative power. If we had p to the power of minus q, we could write this as 1 over p to the power of positive q. So some quick worked examples of looking at the rules of indices when we have a negative power. a to the power of minus m is 1 over a to the power of positive m. 